Hi, my name is Scott Carter. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Economics at the University of Tulsa in Tulsa, Oklahoma, United States. I'm also a heretical Srafa. Welcome to my blog, welcome to my website, and welcome to my YouTube channel. We are at a watershed in the history of Srafa scholarship and indeed in the history of economic thought. In relatively short order, all of Srafa's archival material is going to be made available to the general public, interested scholars and lay people alike. It will be made available on the Wren Library Trinity College University of Cambridge website. That's Wren, W-R-E-N. The Wren Library is a library at Trinity College where Srafa was a fellow and where his archival material has been housed since his death in 1983. For the first time in history, scholars and interested lay people will have unfettered access to all of the material. Srafa's archive consists of over 30,000 mostly handwritten pages. It's huge. It's been broken down according to the Trinity Wren Convention, the way in which Jonathan Smith, the archivist of Trinity Wren, was uh, uh, archived the material, archived the entirety in terms of 10 different subsections. They're lettered A through J. Already up on the Wren website, we have section E, which are Srafa's diaries. Here we will find, when we go online, all of the diaries that Srafa wrote from 1927 to 1977. Those are 55 different files that are on the website. Scholars can go now and they can click on the diaries and they can see where Srafa was going and whom Srafa was meeting and what Srafa was doing. I've been assured that in relatively short order, Section D of the archive will also be put online. Section D, in my estimation, is the heart of the archive. It contains Section D1, which are Srafa's notes, Section D2, which are Srafa's lectures, and Section D3, which are Srafa's publications. There are tens of thousands of pages in Section D. And again, they will be put online in color digital copies that are going to be able, that, that scholars are going to be able to view and are going to be able to see and are going to be able to study. It's important to know that as Srafa's archival material is put online, that it will be put online as one finds it at the Wren. This is an important point because as it stands, the material will be, will be put up in, an, in its unordered state. And so scholars are going to have access to the material in its original, pristine, unordered state. Now that's a huge advantage for scholars, but it's also a disadvantage in as much as scholars are going to be moving into the forest and are going to get lost by the number of the trees. One of the things that we're going to try to do in this blog, on the website, and in the YouTube channel is to try to give an overall vision of that forest so that as scholars are working through those trees, they can have an understanding of their bearings. What we want to do is we want to provide a roadmap through the archive. Now, this does not mean that we will be telling people how to think about the material in the archive. That's for scholars to discern for themselves. I'm of the opinion that Srafa's archival material is foundational, that Srafa's theoretical approach is foundational. I take that from Professor Passanetti, who in 1988 wrote a very interesting article in the, uh, in the memorial issue for Srafa for the Cambridge Journal of Economics. There in a short little entry of three pages long called Srafa on Income Distribution, Professor Passanetti, who was one of Srafa's students, speaks of Srafa's, uh, Srafa's theory as foundational. That, I, the way that I take it and the way I approach this is to say that Srafa's theory, and indeed we can see it in the archival material, it, it, it provides foundational cogency to a variety of different and not incompatible heterodox theories of value and distribution. That means that Srafa has relevance for the Marxists, for the so-called Srafians, for the post-Keynesians, for the institutionalists. The Srafa's archival material is a gift that he gave to the science of economics, and any scholar who has interest now, in short order, will be able to look at that material and study it in its entirety. This is a huge event in Srafa's in, 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 uh, scholarship and indeed in the history of economic thought. 
I look forward to working with any scholar who has interest to go through this, to look on the website, to go to the channels, to see the videos, to try to see how do we understand where this can all go. It's a wonderful event that's happening, and I look forward to each and every one of you staying in tune to me and to this channel and to this website as we move forward trying to develop the potential that we can get out of Srafa's papers. I'll see you online. Take care. Bye.